have Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 cell phone with a broken glass. But the display and the sensor are working, as you can see. We are going to replace the glass. Let's start disassembling the phone. Remove the back cover, take out the battery and unscrew the phone. Take off the call module and the main board. Don't forget to unscrew the main board holding screw situated to the left from the charger connector, as shown on the video. Carefully disconnect the coaxial cable. The cell phone is now completely disassembled. Separate the display frame from the display module. Here we use the hot air solving station. The temperature is about 100 to 140 degrees Celsius. And a metal tool. We use a plastic card, but you can use a mediator if you have one. After removing the frame, we carefully take off the keyboard module. Take the touchscreen glass separator machine, place the display module with the glass down on the heating surface. Set the required length of the separator holders, so that they press the display tightly to the heating surface. Then, Set the temperature to 100-130 degrees Celsius and wait for the surface to heat. Take the glass separator wire. You may cut off the wire of the desired length and wind the ends around some holders or take the gloves to protect your hands as we do.
Then, place the bar between the glass and the touch screen. Be careful not to damage the polarization film. Move the wire left and right and pull it at the same time to cut off the glue. When the glass is removed from the display module, take the module off the separator. Make sure the module is working. There will be glue remains on the module sensor. Disconnect the module from the mainboard. Take the glue remover and deposit it on the display module. Take off the glue remains using the glue removing blade. Be careful not to damage the polarization film. When the display is cleaned from the glue, wipe it with a cloth to remove small remains of the glue. Insert the display into the holder for correct glass positioning, then apply the glue onto the touch surface. Put the new glass on the display. Press with your hand or a roller in the middle of the display to push away the air bubbles. Put the module under the ultraviolet lamp for about from 10 to 13 minutes depending on the lamp bar. Turn off the lamp and take the display out of the holder. Connect it to the main board to make sure everything works correctly. Good job! The display works fine. If you have any questions, please contact our technical support. We are always glad to help. Thank you for attention.